Hey everyone, it's Robin and welcome to the Robin's Nest. Today on my channel, I'm going to be making another crude's cake for you guys. Yes, I know I might be a little bit obsessed, but we're also going to be celebrating Valentine's Day. So I'm going to be caking the two cutest Valentines I could possibly think of belt and sash. I am so excited. This is going to be so cute. But to make things extra special, this video is also going to be part of a Valentine's Day cake collaboration with a very talented group of fellow YouTube bakers, each with an amazing cake idea that you too can make at home yourself. First up, we have our host channel, Flour, Eggs, and Yeast. Thank you to Teresa for putting together another wonderful collaboration. Next, we have 5-2 Baker and Man Cake, Janie Sweets, and Molly Cakes. Thank you to everyone for being a part of this Valentine's Day cake collaboration. Now let's get into it. So because no Valentine's Day is complete without chocolate, today we're going to be using three six inch chocolate cake layers. Now don't let these round layers fool you. We are not making a traditional circle cake. We are going to be making our cake in the shape of a heart. Now unfortunately I didn't have any heart shaped pans so we are going to have to improvise. So I'm going to begin by trimming these down and leveling these out. Then we're going to use a template which I've already prepared to cut out each of our little heart shapes. So I finished cutting out my three little heart shaped cakes, aren't they adorable? So now that we've cut these out, we can actually go ahead and stack and fill, then crumb coat and chill our cakes. So we're just going to take our small offset spatula, apply a little bit of icing to our cake board where our cake is going to go. We're going to press down the first layer and then we're going to use our offset spatula to apply a little bit of icing in between each of our layers. And now that I've finished stacking and filling my layers, I'm going to go ahead and take my small offset spatula, apply a nice thin layer of icing to my cake, and then I'm going to smooth it all out using a bench scraper. Okay, so we finished the crumb coat on our teeny tiny heart shaped cake and I think it looks adorable so far. What do you guys think? Thumbs up if you like it. Hit subscribe if you love it. All right, so now it's time to chill. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and we're gonna leave it in there for about 15 or 20 minutes. And while we're waiting, we're gonna work on our first decoration. So belt and sash are the main decorations for the outside of this cake, but I want something for the top of my cake too. So we're gonna write a little personalized message. Now, I was just gonna write something simple like be mine or I love you, but then I remembered the part of the movie where Belt meets Sash for the very first time and he instantly falls in love. And as he reaches out for her, she replies with an ooh la la, so you know she feels the exact same way too. I think it's the sweetest part of the whole movie, so that's the message we're gonna put on the top of our cake today. So I've drawn up a little template and this is how it's gonna look on the top of our cake. And we're just going to make this out of a little bit of white fondant, which I've already added some Tylo powder to. And we're going to roll this out really, really thin. We're going to use this to mark off our stencil. And then we're going to cut it all out and set it aside until we're ready to put it on top of the cake. All 
Alrighty, so I finished cutting out my letters and I've set them off to the side to air dry a little bit so they're a little bit easier to work with when it's time to put them on the cake. And as you can see, I've also grabbed my cake because it's time to give it its final coat of icing. And we're just gonna use the same steps we use to give it a crumb coat, except we're gonna add a much thicker coat of icing this time. I finished my final coat and I think that looks pretty good. It's nice and smooth. So now we're gonna get our cake off into the fridge to chill and firm up really well before we add any of our decorations. And while we're waiting, we're gonna start working on our little Valentine's cuties belt and sash. So ultimately what I want to try to do is make it so that belt and sash are hugging each other and hugging the cake. So I found a really sweet image online of the two of them hugging. I just love it. And I've redrew it into two separate images, one of her and one of him, which I've also made some alterations to. So that way they're going to be hugging each other and they're going to have one free arm to wrap around the cake. Now in my mind this works, but we'll have to see how it goes. So we're going to start with belt first. And we're just going to start with a big piece of brown fondant. We're going to get this rolled out nice and large and we're going to cut out the full shape of his body first. Then we're going to take all the other little colors that we mixed up for his facial features. We're going to cut out each one and we're going to piece it together as we go. Then once we're finished with him, we're going to set him off to the side and we're going to do more of the same to make sash. Then we're going to make them hug each other and then we're going to wrap them around the cake. It's going to be so cute. I can't wait. Alright guys, I finished our favorite little sloths and now it's time to wrap them up in each other before we wrap them around the cake. Now I'm just going to take her and lay her over the top of him. Then we're going to wrap her arm around him and then his arm around her. And then they'll be ready for the cake. Alright guys, here comes the moment of truth. Will they stay together? It's time to put them on the cake. Right, so I had to add a couple of skewers to the back of them because their heads were still kind of soft, so they were a little bit floppy. But I think this is gonna work. I hope so anyway, fingers crossed. Here we go. Okay. And ta-da, here it is guys, what do you think? I absolutely love it, I think they turned out so cute. But if there's one thing I would have done differently, I would have let them dry just a little bit longer before I put them on the cake because they were a little bit too soft and I did have to add some supports to the back so their heads didn't flop over. But they're holding up nicely now and I'm really happy with how it looks and I think it looks so cute. And if you ask me, I think this is the perfect size cake to share with that somebody special. Well guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Leave me a big thumbs up and lots of love in the comment section too. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. And to everybody who took part in the Valentine's Day cake collaboration, once again, thank you. Happy Valentine's Day! Thank you.